Oh, loser. <laughs> this is so hard to do. I'm like jumping around in the air. Students now, uh, from all the way from fifth grade on up, are spending at least 30 hours a week playing games. Uh, and if we compare that to how much time they spend doing homework, there's a disproportional amount. We know that the students are developing learning styles that are trial and error, the error based on the gameplay. Uh, our educational system uses a front-loaded system of provide information first and then test or then exercise. And so there, we're trying to learn different methodologies of teaching uh, where the students can receive material, manipulate it just like they do in a game, and then learn from that and ask questions. We want to be able to give you content assignments where you're playing a game and having just as much fun learning as you are when you're playing a game. Now, the only way we're going to find out is what on earth you all are doing in these games where you're developing strategy, you're learning skills, you're coming up with tactics, and you're applying them, and you're actually getting different levels, and you're working hard, and you're talking to each other about it, and you have a community that is all sharing this game, and you're you're really enjoyed it and you're engaged. Because you have to use um, hand-eye coordination when you're doing that because if you don't do hand-eye coordination then um, you don't know what you're pressing, you don't know if you're doing something wrong and then you also gotta learn how things um, go in the game. So like when I was in there playing tennis with the Wii, I ain't know how to swing the racket. until um, I finally knew that you are supposed okay. to do your wrist and make it go. And so it was actually pretty fun once I got to learn that. They don't have any problem in failing. They die 400 times a week. <laughs> but they just bounce right back. And so what they want to do is to get the hands-on content and then they're going to be able to manipulate that. And so we're trying to learn what types of learning styles are more game-like that follows their strategies. I think it's a little bird. He's yellow. He's yellow. What we're trying to do in the School of Education is to develop a, a thrust for serious game development. And those are games that are designed where learning is the outcome and not necessarily fun. Uh, it's tough to balance. If you go into a game, uh, you've got to have a certain amount of fun. So how much fun and how much learning is what we're trying to find out.